morning everybody, Jason, Hollis Farms. Taking a little road trip this morning, a few hours from the house. Oh. Trying to figure out how I want to do this video. Oh. Be right back. Okay, anyway, I was, I had to answer that message, but, oh, kind of start from, I'll go back to the peak videos, again, thank you for all the su support and all the response to all the videos and everything about Pete, but, anyway, a couple of days after Pete died, two, three days or whatever, I told Sissy, those of y'all that don't know who Cece is, my wife, I, I looked at her and she knew what I was thinking about. I asked her, I said, too early to be thinking about another one? And it, it wasn't, she knows I was just asking that question. That some things I do may not matter what somebody else says, what I ask, but I, we talk a lot of stuff about a lot of stuff. But she said no, and I said, well, I didn't think so. So, I'm not a real computer savvy type person. I don't do the Facebook and stuff and all that stuff. I've got it, Facebook, Instagram and stuff. The only reason I've got it is just to kind of look up stuff or look for stuff or whatever. I don't message, post, all our Hollis Farm stuff. Brian does all that. I just don't not really interested in it and don't care about posting this and that. YouTube's plenty. I, I, it's all I can do to put videos out every day. But anyway, I got to digging around on Facebook and this and that. Just wasn't in no hurry and just kind of looking and thinking and I, I was I was for sure, like I said, Pete, he was the first... Uh, small dog that that I've ever had for myself. This has got Piper. She's half Jack Russell and half Rat Terrier or Jack Rat they call it. But anyway, I knew I wanted and, and Dodge is I thought Dodge was small until I got Pete. But anyway, I knew I was gonna want another small dog and I looked around and looked around different type dogs and this and that and um, I just finally said if I get another then I'm going to have a Jack Russell so all the breeders and all I looked around looked around most of them was a long way away and man I just don't know if I want to go that far There's, somebody's got to be close but anyway I kept digging kept digging finally found a Facebook page that, that had a bunch of Jack Russells on it. And uh, I'm not going to mention her anything because I don't, some people don't want to be mentioned. But anyway, I uh, got to looking and of course I was looking, I wasn't even thinking, I got to looking at the, when the pictures was posted and it was a uh, litter of puppies. And I said, I had a phone number. It was actually an Alabama phone number. So I called the number and, and just asked. I said, "Do you do you sell puppies or just wh wh what's what's the deal here?" I really didn't see anything that said for sale or anything. And she she kind of laughed and said, "Yes, I do." And talked around, talked around. And I said, "Well, I noticed these pictures are pretty pretty fresh." I said, "Do you, do you have any left for sale?" She said, "I've got one." She said, "Oh." I said, well, what is it? She said, it's a female, and I said, man, I don't know. Uh, most everybody I know loves females, and I don't have a problem with them. I just always like my male dogs. And uh, I said, well, I thought, I thought, I thought. And I sent Cece up. She said, lady sent me a picture or two, and I sent Cece a picture. I said, what do you think? And I think she gave me a thumbs up or whatever, and so one of the other day when me and Cody went somewhere, that's where we went. 
went to visit. Puppies weren't quite ready, but I wanted to go meet the person, see the puppies, and anyway, things seemed to, and I hope I'm right, and I'm not jumping into this too fast, though. may kind of seem like it, but if you get to thinking about something 24 hours a day or something, it it's actually seems like a long time, but anyway, I, uh, I, uh, we came and saw the puppy, really liked the lady, uh, a little different deal, she actually has two different types, Jack Russells, uh, she's got a show breed, and then she's got, I forget what she called, uh, the other type, it, it, it's more of an, uh, and I understand this, because I bred, bred my hog dogs in near so long, she's just got different traits in these dogs, and the, the, and I've learned a lot. I was so glad that I, I met her and see the difference. The, the ones I'm gonna get is more like your hunting type or feisty type. Uh, Jack Russell's, if I'd ended up with one of her others that uh, have the lazy, just lay around, no brains type trait, I'd have been sick. But anyway, oh, uh, so that's where I'm headed. I had to wait ever how long it's been. Uh, they weren't quite ready to get. I can't even remember when me and Cody came up here. But anyway, uh, I am on my way up here this morning to pick up my new girlfriend. I, I think I, I kind of wanted, I wanted to try to do something a little different. Like I said, most of the dogs that I've all, uh, of course, Rose is a female. And I've had some super female hog dogs, but coon dogs and all that stuff. But I just decided to go with a female. So we're going after a new girlfriend this morning. And uh, I'm excited about it. I am definitely, like a lot, a lot of comments I've had, I'll never be able to replace Pete. I've had a lot of dogs all my life. I've had some dogs get old and die. Lost some young ones. Lost some young ones hog hunting. Uh, but I'm not gonna be without one. And uh, but I decided to go the female route this time. I don't I don't know why. It just seemed like this this one was uh, meant to be. You almost kinda know, so to speak, when you when you run across the, the right thing. And actually the lady was planning on keeping this puppy. Of course, she may be feeding me a line, but I don't think so. She was planning on keeping it until she had another female come in heat and she bred it and she was gonna keep one off that next one. Um, and this little girl is pretty. Um, I am super excited. I already went and got a little new bed and a new little collar. I got rid of Pete's old bed, that was his. And, uh, anyway, so we're going to start fresh today with a uh, new girlfriend, new buddy. Like I said, not trying to replace Pete. Just uh, didn't want to be without a little truck dog, a little dog. And I don't want to it's gonna be hard uh, I don't want to ever try to compare to Pete I'm sure I'm gonna keep talking about Pete for a long time and we'll probably we might compare some I don't know she's gonna every dog got their own personality this is a when we was up there now she is a feisty little thing and I think she's gone I got it the hard part is starting over house breaking them and do all that like Sissy said here we go again Cause it's a lot of work to get one right like I like them. It's uh, it's almost like, it is like raising a new baby. I mean, you, they wake you up at night and you in the bed where you gotta carry them out and go pee and it's right in the middle of the deer season. And But it'll all work out fine though. That's, that's kind of when we started with Pete, if, if uh, you know, in the deer stand. Of course, I've been thinking about that too, the way I've been hunting in these hang-on stands and all. But I'm, we may just have to hunt in the shooting house some so we can carry uh, the uh, 
pup with us, but very excited this morning. A little down, thinking about Pete, but I think I think everybody will agree that Pete would want us to do this same thing. So uh, when uh, another thing, uh, just about all since Cody was old enough to have an idea when he was watching little cartoons oh, Paw Patrol he used to watch Paw, Paw Patrol that cartoon with all them dogs I think every character that was on that show we've got a dog named after him and Sissy's good at it oh, sometimes I don't know and I, let, I like to I like to keep them involved a lot of time most all the times they name the dogs well I after I committed to this pup, I text Sissy, and, and I'm going to tell y'all this after we pick her up, but I'm going to give y'all a little insight. Oh, I text Sissy, I said, I need some, need some girl, girl names. And, of course, she likes that. She got to immediately thinking, and, and uh, she sent me back. The first one she sent me is... Uh, the one we're going to use. She come up with, she's good at that, and I mean, it just fits. She actually, and, and when she was bringing Pete home, I said, what's the name? And she gave me, uh, the first choice she gave me was Pete. And she kind of laughed, but it just fit. So, and this one right here really fits. And, and it's, it's kind of funny for what she told me, and it being a little girl, and then a lot of the comments that we got on the Pete video. So I'm gonna ease on up here and uh, pick up this new little girl, and then on the way home, I'll tell you. Y'all don't let me. Yeah, I'll try not to forget. Then, of course, we'll talk about her name, and I'll tell y'all. Of course, Sissy, she came up with that, but it's it's funny. Like I said, everything kind of seems to happen for a reason, and, and y'all will understand that here in a little while. But anyway. He's on up here and uh, pick her up. All right, y'all. Is my camera operating right? I don't think it is. All right, maybe I got it working right now. All right, we just got back. Here she is. My new little buddy. What y'all think about her? Ain't she pretty? Yes, yeah, she is. She ain't hardly ever been outside. What are you doing, girl? Hmm? What are you doing? Well, she's going to be a feisty little thing. Slept all the way home. Rode really good. She's going to be feisty. About chewed my, chewed my zipper off my vest. As soon as we got out, she ran around for a second and peed. She's real, just real comfortable, real curious. Look at her. <laughs> You're going to be a mess, little turd. We've been to have some fun with this. Like we, everybody said and I've said, we ain't trying to replace Pete. We just, when it happens and you lose something that you really like, you don't try to replace it. You just get another one. And we won't ever forget Pete. And you just got to pick up the pieces and move on. But like, like I was telling the story on the way up there, how Sissy always names the dogs. And uh, so when we kind of got to <laughs> decide and decided that we was going to do this, uh, I texted her. I said, I need some, uh, I need some girl names because I always let them name them because they do a lot better job than I do. But anyway, the first one she sent back was PJ. I said, man, that sounds good. And then I texted her back. I said, uh, I said, what's the letter stand for? She said, I don't know. It just sounded good. So I thought, well, that sounds good. I said, but I hate to name a dog PJ and uh, not stand for anything, even though I probably would have because it sounded so good. So after all the comments that we've got through Pete and uh, about Pete and everything, there's been several comments that said you need a Pete Jr. Now this, this went on before the comments pretty much as far as the Sissy telling me the PJ and I said Pete Jr. 
So everything happens for a reason. You just kind of got to believe in it and plan on it. And, uh, you know, I guess you wouldn't want to call a girl Pete Jr., but PJ. PJ sounds good. PJ is our new little buddy. Boy, she's a mess, too. She just... I'm going to turn y'all around. Y'all don't want to look at me, no way. What you getting into? She probably... Well, I know she had never been in nowhere like this. The lady kept her inside and let him out pee and stuff, but... I know she hadn't been around all these leaves and stuff. She just, she gonna get dirty, but that's all right. That's fine. She is gonna be a mess. Is she not pretty? Just look at the head on this baby. Look at that head. She is pretty. If I remember right, I have to look back at her papers. Y'all know I'm not much on papering, but I am pretty sure the parents of her came from Italy. I mean, these are true, full-blooded the real deal she farted a while ago in the truck so i'm assuming she's got to poop and just think she peed but she ain't got that worked out yet i think she'll probably do that in a minute she's so funny walking on that hay there i think she's working on it she's just got <laughs> dogs are so funny when they first do stuff she's gonna be fiery now she is gonna be wired up that's the only way i'd have one that's why me and cody went and visited i ain't we didn't need no dead head we got to have a half nuts what we want we like them crazy she's gonna run around here and have a little movement here in a minute look at that ain't she a mess what I like is the lady does a super job as far as kind of socializing or whatever you... I mean, it's the first time she's ever been here, and she's just wired up. She couldn't have pooped. She is raising that tail. She is fixing to poop if she can be still long enough. She, she's going to be a mess, y'all. There we go. Good girl. That's what I've been waiting for. Good girl. Now, don't step back off in it. Boy, she had to poop now. Huh? That's good though. Yep. Come on, PJ. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that little girl. All right. All right. So, Miss PJ came with this little pink blanket. So, I took the one that I've always had right here. I'm not a pink person, y'all know that, but we let her have her blankie right here on the console that she likes and i went by track supply and got i ain't crazy about this bed i like the kind that's got the sides turned up on it and we're gonna get one of them as soon as we find one i kind of got in a hurry but she came with a uh, chew toy santa claus <laughs> and i got two collars she uh i like these snap ones for these little dogs oh, i dropped it that's probably what she's going to get. And I got this other one, too. Of course, we got a couple of more smaller dogs around the house. They can always be used. But look at her. That's your bed, baby. She ain't even been in it. She's been in my lap. What do you think about that? You like that? Hmm? You like that? She's learning to climb, too, y'all. She's got to learn to, to climb. Come on. Come here, PJ. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. It won't take her long. She is, I gotta look back, I guess she's seven weeks old? No, or eight? I can't remember. I got her papers and all down there, I gotta look at that. Y'all know I don't worry too much about all that stuff. Look at her trying to jump. You gonna be, come on, come on, you gotta learn to climb. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That, you almost made it, I'll help you on that one. That was a good try. That was a good try, girl. Alright, so I gotta go get me a, find me a little food and water pan that I'll keep in the truck. Because that's probably where she'll do most of her eating if we're over in Mississippi and all. Not gonna, not gonna do her a once a day deal like we do all the rest of them yet. All right, y'all, so here's what I decided to do. I run on down here to Mississippi. Didn't want to get my rifle out, but I did. I didn't want to leave PJ in the truck the first uh, 
first day. So we up in the shooting house and I've been on the phone for about 15 minutes. I already got three deer way down in there. So I'm gonna get my tripod out, ease these windows up. I believe it'll be a good afternoon. Let PJ play. But she's gonna be a mess, so it's gonna be fun. Wish he'd come back out. I want to see what he is. That's a nice one. Look mature. But I was trying to get the camera and all on him. And I look back at the footage. It's a big deer.
Hey, y'all. Me and old PJ had us a good little afternoon hunt. Man, I got to thinking, and I was so busy at Lane Sonair, and I was so busy fooling with the camera, I might look back and make sure that wasn't two different bucks. I wish he'd come on, he'd come on in there. Oh, my binoculars about to fire. Oh. I wish he'd come on in there a little closer where we could get a better look at him. I'm ready to look back at the footage. I get to fooling with that camera, and I, uh, don't pay attention to the deer enough, but anyway, that was a good little afternoon hunt. PJ was a sweetheart. She played a little bit, and then she slept all afternoon. Anyway, me and PJ finna call it a night and head on in. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.